and welcome back to Geek Girl. I'm your Geek Girl host, Steve Park, the girl who's back and better than ever in 07. You probably noticed that I took a little bit of an unexpected break. With the holidays, work, and weather, I had a hard time getting an episode out. I want to thank everyone who took the time to write and see if I was okay. As you can see, I am, and I am back to my regularly weekly schedule. But I also have to let people know that there was some sort of glitch with the feed last week, and it's fixed now. But some people got some sort of default Lipson audio message instead of the episode about the PS2 review. So if that's what your aggregator still has, please know that there is a real episode and you may need to update manually. Or you can watch it at geekgirl.tv. Now that that's out of the way, I'm pleased to announce that Mr. Cellophane won the Screen Goddess IT 2007 calendar! <laughs> So I'll be sending the calendar to Carl, all the way in Austria, which I'm pretty excited about. So Carl, please let us know when you get it. In the news. So the most exciting news this week is the Burning Crusade for WoW. I did get it Tuesday, but I have to admit I was a little worried, because actually I didn't pre-order it. But thank goodness I was able to walk into Best Buy the day it came out and pick up a copy. I got it home, and the first thing I did was I spent forever on the character creation page. Most other people would have probably been at least level 3 already by the time it took me to figure out the name of my new Draenei. By the way, is that the way you say it? Draenei? 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 I'm still really excited to explore all the new features. I haven't run into anything yet that isn't awesome, but I don't really feel like I can comment on it until I've played it more. But if you play, I'd love to hear what your first impressions are. As always, send your comments to geekgirl at clevermedia.com. I read the patch notes, and I was really excited about the changes they made to the warlock, specifically in the battleground. Those who know me know that my main is a warlock, and I've been spending a lot of time on PvP lately. But I was honor grinding last night, and it didn't really seem like the changes were implemented the way they were described. Speaking of Warcraft, Lael just told me about this new podcast called Women of Warcraft, which is hosted by Molly Stanberry, which you can see is entirely too attractive to be a gamer. Molly, what are you doing to me? You're setting the bar too high. But the really neat part, well, neat for me, is that she lives right here in Denver. So I'd like to send Molly a shout out and an open invitation to collaborate on some sort of video project. Anyway, I'd like to leave you with the conclusion of my three-part series, Consoles in Review. I apologize because the footage is like two months old now. I know you want to see my cube. And thank you for tuning in for the third week of Consoles in Review. Last week, I talked about the PS2, and the week before that, I talked about the Xbox. That leaves only one console. This week, I'm talking about the GameCube. Here's my GameCube. And, as you can see, it's in my hand because it's not part of my entertainment center due to its irregular size. When we want to play the GameCube, we actually hook it up to the front of the television right here. I really like Nintendo for their multiplayer games. Plus, Nintendo owns many franchises that I just love, like Mario and Zelda. I've owned all of their systems except the Nintendo 64. Let me show you a few of my GameCube games. Super Smash Bros. Melee is the only fighting game I can remember liking in a really long time. Maybe since Street Fighter for the Sega. Get, get, get over here. Zelda for the GameCube. What can I say about that? Zelda's awesome. 13. This was an awesome game with really innovative comic book graphics. Gameplay was really hard though and I never played as far as I would have liked to. Star Wars Rebel Strike Rogue Leader Star Wars Mario Golf Now I don't play golf in real life so I didn't expect to enjoy any golf game. This is the only golf game I've ever played and it really surprised me how fun it was. Mario Party 6. This is the only Mario Party game I own but I like it very much. I'm really good at it and people don't like to play with me. The GameCube was the cheapest of the three consoles and we didn't buy it at release so I think we paid a pretty fair price. I would say that the GameCube met my expectations of that console. The PS3 and Xbox 360 are very predictable but it is the Wii that I'm most excited about. I really want to own one. Nintendo always puts fun first. Thanks for watching my three-part series. 
consoles in review. I know you probably disagree with a lot of the things that I said, and that's okay. Please let me know what you think by leaving comments at geekgirl.tv or sending an email to geekgirl at clevermedia.com. Thank you.